Sean Buchanan had a dream. And my dream is to be a singer. I absolutely love to sing. It's basically all I do. He tried out for American Idol and worked as a singer at Busch Gardens. Sean was an outgoing kid from day one. Mary Buchanan and her husband adopted Sean from South Korea when he was just three and a half months old. He was always on. The family grew when the Buchanans adopted twin girls also from South Korea. Sean was enigmatic. He loved life and I mean, he was a He's a good kid. In college, Sean met Megan McMullen. This is a weird guy that came out of nowhere. They were opposites who ended up having a baby girl together. Shaylin is his world. You would have thought he was pregnant. One evening after a day of caring for Shaylin, Sean escaped to a movie in Brandon. He wanted to be normal, just have a night to himself. So he went and saw a movie cameras posted in and around the theater show Sean leave and walk behind the building. 40 minutes later, a woman sees Sean drive erratically into the woods. Someone stabbed him. Investigators still aren't sure why. It's not like he was, you know, getting drunk at a bar or something. He didn't start a fight. He wasn't aggressive. He wasn't starting anything. Hillsborough County Sheriff's Corporal Greg Thomas studied more than 500 hours of security camera video. We downloaded almost a terabyte worth of uh, video surveillance. Sean is seen leaving the theater. One shadowy figure appears possibly following Sean. That individual may not necessarily be the suspect, but I'm pretty confident that individual was there when this incident happened. Seven years ago, when the murder happened, there were cameras inside the theater and the lobby, but only a few outside where the crime took place. I think the individual had plenty of area to kind of watch for a potential would-be victim. Thomas believes the killer hid in the shadows behind a wall or dumpster. It's a perfect opportunity for someone to kind of lie and wait for a potential victim back there. Hunted and then killed in an instant. He was in the wrong place at the wrong time, and that person is still out there. In the days after the murder, the sheriff's office released this photo of Sean with long hair, but no witnesses ever came forward. This photo was taken of Sean the day he was killed. I see the love. The picture shows him with short hair and hopefully will generate new leads. The photo also shows his daughter now growing up without a dad. It never goes away. It's, there's always those reminders. His family just hopes the killer will one day see justice. I want this person off the street. I want this person not to do this to anybody else. Until then, Sean's killer still walks free.